First letter today is from uh, Brandon in Sparks, Nevada. Did you say Nevada or Nevada? I said Nevada. Did you say Nevada? The long A from Wisconsin. Because I like Nevada and I've always heard it Nevada, but I think Nevada sounds better. I agree. It's more rustic. There you go. Nevada. Nevada. You like what I said there? Yeah. Anyway. Dear Steve Namau, hello. I've been making the journey and I decided to send a letter and some drawings. And by which I mean a single drawing. Yeah, I'm cheap. Yeah, I really do enjoy the vlogs and LPs immensely and watch them every day. And my favorite LPs are Sonic Generations, Kirby Superstar, and Minecraft. I came for the reason 90% of everyone else came. You know, that one reason? You were also Waddle D. Just something to consider. Uh, this letter is from Brandon, or track link on the YouTubes, track link X. I have actually wrote several letters to you guys before, but I ended up losing them. Also, tell Mao I also grew up with Sonic. Also, Steven, you inspired me to play Earthbound, which is now my favorite Super Nintendo game, so thanks. Anyway, I've rambled for long enough, so I think I'll end it off here. Alright, bye. Sincerely, Brandon, or track link X. And Brandon sends some peace we art. Is that Ness as Jim? It looks like Ness is... Oh, I get it. It's Ness, because Jim wears the Ness hat. And it's, uh, yeah. Also, you guys probably want to see. See what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying, dog? Where it's like, this is Jim. And like, the Ness is because he wears the Ness hat. You see, you see what I'm saying? And the Kirby Superstar. <laughs> I'm so backwards. I'm really bad at this. Anyway, Brandon, uh, thank you very much for the leather and the art. We're going to move on to the next one, which is from... It's from Twilight Brawler LOL in Westmont, Illinois. Hello, Steven and Mal. I am a big fan of yours and am sending you this leather because I have nothing else to do. My YouTube is Twilight Brawler LOL. I prefer not to say my real name, so you can just refer to me with that. I am multitasking right now, so excuse me if my grammar is wrong. I was a big fan of Chugga Conroy a while back, and as I was watching his vids, I stumbled upon yours. At the time, I didn't think much of it, so I just passed it up. Then, when NCS Tim said he was having lunch with you, I watched his vlog of it, which had me stumble on your vids again. It was then I decided to watch some of your vids, and I was instantly hooked. Your videos keep me entertained in my boring life, and they make me laugh. Anyways, I am out of things to say, and I'm pretty sure you are getting a headache from reading my chicken scratch. <laughs> Your fan, Twilight Brawler LOL. P.S. I do you pick two. Here's your pick two. And here is his pick two. It's Venusaur. I said that like the halfway point of the episode. Do you remember the, in the middle of the Pokemon episodes where they had the silhouette and they're like, Who's that Pokemon? And then it comes back and they're like, It's Venusaur. Venusaur. You I woke up, up the cat. Kitty. I'm sorry, kitty. The kitty is asleep on Mal's lap. The other kitty is asleep in my chair because he likes my chair. Big stretch. Anyway, Twilight Brawler. Oh, Do well. <laughs> you like my way of selling, saying the ball? Oh, uh, oh. Stop it. The poor cat has got your full attention. Sorry, look at him. It's a kid. When the kittens get older, then we'll pay less attention to them. We'll be like, there's a cat somewhere. But uh, thank you very much for the leather and the arch, the Venusaur. This is almost perfect for my eyes. I could punch out Venusaur's eyes and it'd be a Venusaur mask, which would be kind of a frightening uh, Halloween costume for children. We're gonna move on to the next leather, which is from uh, Hepatitis California. Hesperia. <laughs> Hepatitis California. There's no T in that at No, all. there's not. Not even a little bit. I think it's because I, I saw Hess and like a P and then it, California, so Hep C, like, Hepatitis, anyway. Uh, Jonathan from Hepatitis, California. Not Hepatitis. Here's the letter. It has right. a number one on it. Has it a number one. Because they're numbered, so we know how to read them. <clears throat> Dearest Stephen Amal. Hey guys, quick! I command you two to high five immediately. Hi! My name is Jonathan, aka Jonathan Rocks A Lot on the YouTubes. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Hepatitis, California. It's not Hepatitis, it's Hesperia. But from now on, I will say. Hepatitis. Though you can probably tell that from the envelope. This September I'll be going to college to major in math. You are a brave soul. After watching how much fun you had in college, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm considering maybe starting my own vlog, which you should. 
I found the vlog back in May when I saw day 703 as a suggested video on a Chugga video. I watched the two days of him and was instantly in love with you guys. I watched some of the at the time current vlogs, subbed, and then proceeded to, wait for it, the journey. It's bolded. It took me a few months, but I loved it. That's over a thousand videos. Wow, in a month? Oh, a few months. Okay, I was like, Jesus, that's crazy. Uh, I absolutely love the vlog. I often find myself referring to you guys in the vlog in everyday life. I'm currently trying to get a friend of mine to watch the vlog so I can have someone IRL to talk to about them. I also wanted to say that I love how in love you two are. It's very obvious, even without obscene amounts of PDA. You guys are best friends, and I love how you support each other on anything you guys do. I almost cried when I watched the wedding. Sorry, I'm kind of a romantic. I really miss the college days. I still go back and watch them from time to time. Some of my favorite moments are when Alex scares the bejesus out of you, Blank Street, Apartment Blank, when Alex proofreads your essay, your and Dan's various musical videos, and any of the episodes of Carly Vlog. <laughs> I also started watching some LPs. I watched a bunch of the Minecraft LP. I saw the entirety of some of the shorter LPs, uh, such as Portal, but I find myself watching the vlogs more than the LPs. I like playing video games too, but I'm pretty terrible at them. I'm currently in the process of playing God of War. I also included some art that I hope you guys enjoy. I'm no artist, but I was inspired by the Cyanide and Happiness comics. Do you guys like the, what the crap is that? Cat. What the scratching post, don't yell at him, that's oh, good. Oh, okay, good, good kitty. Scratching post, sorry, I'm not used to that noise, we just got it today. I'm no artist, but I was inspired by the Cyanide and Happiness comics. Do you guys like those? That sounds familiar, but I'm not 100% sure what that is. They're Did, good, you know them. What, oh, what are they? The, the stick figure comics, where they say funny things. <laughs> if it's a comic, I hope it's saying something funny. Hi. Um, and Drew, you too. Anyway, I will end it here and go watch some vlogs and physically stop myself from screaming Mal and I every time you say me and Mal. Vlog for the years, Jonathan, aka Jonathan rocks a lot. P.S. Every time I hear or see the year 1962, all I think about is Dan. Creepy? Not really. That seems pretty pretty normal. I, th I think the same thing when I see that number. P.P.S. If you two are ever in the SoCal area, I'd love to meet up. That will probably never happen. You don't know that. I mean, we'd really love to visit California. And if we visit California, we will announce exactly where we're going and when we'll be there so people can, can meet up with us. Hi, Kepler. How are you? Welcome to my lap. And uh, there is more Matt, stuff I'm here. I'm in your lap now. Yeah, I know. On there, your arm. <laughs> and there's uh, there's more stuff from Jonathan here. Oh, Recognize it now. yes, the art style. Yes, I remember the art style. Okay, so we have Stephen Amell, uh drawn in the style of uh, Cyanide. And happiness. Cyanide and happiness. It's very cool. I like it. I'm bald, but I guess that's to play along with the style. I I think the one thing I'm pretty sure I'll never be is bald. Uh, I mean, you, I, I'm pretty sure you inherit the the hair genes from your mom's side, and my my mom's family has always had crazy hits of hair. So, and then we have another one here. Uh, <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Stephen Amell with mustaches. It That's, doesn't say mustaches, it's a stashes. Stashes, yes, stashes. That's excellent. Jonathan, I, I very much appreciate uh, your leather and the arts. Uh, excellent job. And I'm so glad that uh, yet another person has taken the journey because uh, it's fun. It is fun. I, I think the, the, the biggest downside to taking the journey for any of you uh, people who are potential journey takers is that you will become very attached to characters who are no longer regularly on the vlog. You will. You, you will definitely become attached to Alex and Dan, Taylor and Nick, uh, Ian, I guess to a lesser extent. Um, you'll become attached to them and you'll be very sad whenever it c gets into this new part of our life. But it's worth, it's worth doing. It's worth doing. And if nothing else, there's actually a playlist that's like The Journey Abridged, which is kind of like the best of Stephen Vlog. It's in it. That still takes like nine, nine hours to watch. So if you get a chance, go through that. Anyway. You have to open the next one. All right. Next leather is, for, is this it? Yeah, that's okay. nice. Next letter is from AJ in uh, Kafalba Island. I think it says Kafalba Island, Ohio. And it's very small leather. Check out the colors. The colors, Duke! The colors! Do you know what that's from? No. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Do you know what it's from? No. It's from um, the, uh, the, the popsicle commercials. They had like all of the. Oh yeah, those popsicles that had like the rainbow. Had like the old man and the dog yeah. or something. Anyway, yes. in here we have it's a thank you, thank you card, and it says, uh, "Dear Stephen Mal, thank you for making videos. They are really fun to watch. Keep making them. If there's anything you need, just let me know. 
and the YouTube is from uh, WrestleAnimal797, and it says, remember, do what you gotta do to stay true to yourself. God bless, Austin. That was really sweet. I mean, it was, it was just a straight up thank you card. You know, thank you for making videos. I appreciate that. That's really, I mean, it's simple, but it was really thoughtful. So I appreciate that. And uh, you're very welcome. I, I really enjoy making videos. It's, it is a huge passion of mine, and I hope that I can do it for the rest of my life. I hope I'm not as stressed as I am right now. I hope that, that eventually dies down. Um, I would ultimately like to do... I don't want to say I want to do less content, but I would like to be less busy. I want to continue doing everything I'm doing. I just want to be less busy. If that's possible, I don't, I don't know, but I'd, I'd like for it to be that way. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, Austin. We're going to move on to the last letter for this mail episode from uh, Rachel in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Uh, Rachel sent us mail before. I wonder what she has in store for us this time. I kind of sound like I'm on Sesame Street or something. Like, let's see what they said. No, Blue's Clues or something. Because you got the, like, the, the giant cardboard letters they open and it's a video. And they're like, hi, Steve. We're on the playground in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'll get on with it. I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. Quite a, quite a big letter. Where does it start? Here it starts. Stephen Amal. Well, I'm back again. Rachel De Moose, though you already knew that from the envelope. As we also know, I go by iHeartNinjas24 on the YouTubes. You said not too long ago I have an unforgettable name, so this prefacing is probably quite unnecessary. Oh well. Congratulations on making it to over 1,000 videos. That's quite a milestone. When you see Dan at PAX, I hope he says something along the lines of there being a thousand years of Stephen Vogg. Uh, I don't think he actually said that. But he would have if I would have asked him to. <laughs> Speaking of, I absolutely loved the Fan Favorites 2 video. I watch it at least once a day because it never fails to make me laugh. I've got a friend of mine completely hooked on your vlog also. She even watches some of the LPs too. She actually wrote you a letter not too long ago. Her name is Jen Lacko from Washington, New Jersey. She's actually from my hometown of Middleton. Funny story, the day you read my letter, which was day 868, Scrampton, the video came out in the middle of April. I was actually at Jen's for the weekend, and she saw how excited I was that the video was out, so she watched it with me. About a month after, she told me she was thinking about making the journey, so I encouraged it. Now, whenever one of us isn't around, we notify the other when your vlogs and Little Big Planet 2 videos come out. We're planning on going to PAX East next year, and I can't wait. On the Little Big Planet 2 subject, you should feel proud. I've played any PlayStation device maybe three or four times ever, and your LP of Little Big Planet 2 makes me want a PS3 so I can play the game. I've never, ever had any interest in PlayStation before. The way you and Mal approach the game is great. The teamwork is awesome, but the way you two subtly troll each other, or not so subtly, is the best part. By the way, Mal, don't listen to Steven. People, or at least me, do care about the cute dresses you change into. I also happen to adore your ribbon tails. Steven should be so lucky to have a sack girl such as yourself assisting him. <laughs> anyway, Steven, now that I'm done subtly trolling you, I have a question. Yes, it's a question time part two. First off, what was the most requested clip for the fan favorites video this time around? Aside from your wedding, I figure that's a given. Um, oh, you know, I think the most requested, okay, by far the most requested clips um, were Alex clips. I'll say that much. Alex clips got requested a ton, which is really interesting because we're covering a, a range from day 500 to day 1000. We got out of college day 550. So out of a thousand, out of 500 days, only one tenth of them, 50 days, actually were college days. And those were the most requested days. People really wanted Alex in there. So uh, Alex was the most requested clips. People also requested um, the Chugga Conroy stuff. Um, but I think that's kind of a given because a lot of the people that are watching now started watching because of those videos. So I think that was probably why. Uh, secondly, is there any particular Ween song you've become very fond of? I'm so glad you ended up liking Ween so much. I like when I can recommend good music. I see you also appreciate how every song by them is completely different. At the same time though, I feel like I can always tell when a song is done by them uh, even if nothing is the same. Does that make sense? I just feel that even while nothing is the same, I always know when it's by them. Um, my favorite green ween song. Uh, my favorite ween song by by far is um, Mr. Can You Please Help My Pony. That is my favorite ween song by like a, a, a long shot. I like a lot of the other ones a lot, but that song is so fantastic. Um, if you guys haven't heard it, Go to YouTube and type in uh, Mr. Will You Please Help My Pony and listen to the song. It's, it's, oh my God, it's such a good song. 
And Mal doesn't appreciate Ween quite to the level that I do, um, but I really like humor. There's a few songs. There's a few songs she likes, but uh, but when I play like uh, like the HIV AIDS song, like you probably don't enjoy that quite as much no. as I do. You're gonna wake up, Kepler. Sorry. Anyway, I, I I really appreciate you recommending Ween to me because I had no idea how how wonderful their music was. It's uh it's interesting stuff, not for everybody, but I appreciate it a lot. My next question is uh, directly related to a recent vlog. Mal, how long did it take you to complete your first playthrough of Crystal's Ponytail? Um, I don't know. I don't remember playing it as a kid. I remember getting the Sega Genesis and then. After my parents got divorced, it sort of got packed away, and we didn't really pull it out for a long time. And then when I pulled it out again, I beat it there. But I don't really remember if I beat it when I got it. Well, you would have been really young, yeah. so that's probably understandable. Like kindergarten. Um, also, what is your least favorite art activity, such as sculpting, painting, etc.? I know some people prefer one over the other. It's really hard because I can be like, oh, I hate drawing. I, I'm not a good drawer because I think that but then if I think of like drawing pastels I like drawing pastels <laughs> so you you well you almost have to be a jack-of-all-trades because you're a teacher yes so it, it, it would probably be really hard for you to answer that question too it is um I like painting I like watercolors best I don't really like oils yeah they're oil okay side. they're just I don't see why everyone's like oh oil paints the best it's and like painting it with butter and aren't oils really expensive too yeah I mean, mm -hmm. watercolors are expensive. Yeah. I didn't really like art metals a whole lot. Like jewelry. Oh, yeah. yeah. I liked um, hammering things into weird shapes. Forging and forming. But I, I didn't really like casting. And I, I didn't really <laughs> Sorry. like soldering. I thought it just looked fantastic on a resume. Likes to hammer <laughs> things into weird shapes. You remember that hairpiece I made? I do. I, I know what you're talking That's about. That's what I'm talking I'm just, about. Yeah, I understand. Before I wrap up yet another long letter, I'm going to flip the tables and ask you one more thing. What's one thing you would ask me? Not many people ask you to ask them anything, and I thought it would be interesting. Anyway, you guys have fun at the near approaching PAX Prime, which we've already been to. Here's to another thousand years of Stephen Vlog. Fondly, Rachel. P.S. Either on the Stephen Mail episode this goes on, or on the vlog, it'd be awesome if you two and anyone else could do the Mad Lib I sent with this. Have fun. And there's an included Mad Lib. Uh, but Rachel was curious as to what I would ask her or anyone who sends something in. I guess my first response um, whenever people mail me anything is I'm curious as to how they found the vlog. I'm curious as to... Um, which episode got them interested? Which episode got them interested because, you know, there's so many times where people stumble ac across something and, um, you know, you know they, they see it and maybe they don't latch on immediately. Sometimes, it, and some of the other letters have said this, where they watch it and then they stumble across it again. Mm -hmm. Which is cool because it, it seems like we have an ever-increasing YouTube presence where you're stumbling into the vlog when you're on related videos, which is good, that's good. We want you to find the videos. Um, but it's true, some people don't always get into it immediately. Some people take a while. Um, some people uh, watch for a long time and then they kind of get out of it for whatever reason. And just various reasons as, as to why you started watching, maybe why you stopped after a while. Um, I'm curious about these things, um, and I know that you in particular have answered a lot of this stuff, but I guess this is more directed towards other people. That's what I'm most interested in. I'm, I want to find out why people started watching, um, what kept their attention, um, what subject matter it was that makes them interested in the vlog, uh, things like that. Maybe how she found Ween? That would, yeah, and that's the question I want everyone to answer, not the Ween thing, but the vlog stuff. But for you, how did you find Ween? Um, when did you when did you discover Ween? That would be my question to you, um, because I've heard their music before, and I, I know I have because I recognize some of the songs, and uh, some of the songs were in like old Tony Hawk games and things. So I had heard their music before, but you know, listening to different songs on Tony Hawk, it's, it's really hard to get into one particular artist. So uh, I'd be interested in, in, into finding out how you found out about Ween. And uh, also included, of course, as I said a moment ago, is this Mad Lib. And, Do you uh, want me to read it to you and you list off things? Well, why don't we take a minute and fill it out and uh, 
and then we'll come back and read it. Okay. All right. Uh, for the record, I just had Mal fill all of this out. She didn't see any of the story. I just asked her all the things. So this is Mal's story. I will now read it to you to finish off this episode of Stephen Mail. This is called uh, Thirsty in Suburbia Water Utility Customer Service Call. You ready for this? Yes. You should just listen. You shouldn't read along. It'll but I want to see. It'll make it more exciting. So uh, this is a customer service representative talking to a caller. Happy Halloween, this is Orchidville Water and Sewer. May I swim you? Yes, I am soft. My tap water looks slimy and smells loud. Oh, relax, don't drive. This is a harmless condition caused by toes entering the pipes. Oh, but my kids just are all sick in bed with pineapples on their kneecaps. Oh, well, that's not caused by the water. That's caused by puffy parenting substandard basketball funding in our schools, and Romney's policies. <laughs> well, when I took a shower this morning, my hair turned pink and ugly bumps began appearing on my belly button. Oh, well, have you tried flushing your cars? I need help. Now when I look down the drain, I see a pizza. Oh, well, golly gee willikers. We'd better send out our kitten technician to check, out the, to, to check that out. Alec is our best troubleshooter, and they're in the field right now testing the tacos. Well, tell them to look for the house with a difficult front door and a jetpack in the driveway. Oh, well, you'll also need to talk directly to our computer department at Extension 8. In the meantime, don't eat any of your water taps and treat the skin irritations with a salve of Jones Soda and burgers. You can also use an over-the-counter remedy called Play, but don't use Target's generic brand. Also, be sure to boil your seashells and drink only bottled sewage. Well, how long? About two hours. Have a better day. <laughs> and that is Water Utility Customer Service Call, courtesy of Mad Libs, Rachel, and Mallory. Anyway, Rachel, thank you for the letter. Uh, Mad Libs was an interesting idea. I don't know how many time, uh, how often we'll have time for a full Mad Libs in the future. Just trying to warn people that if they send Mad Libs, we may not have time to do them. But that was funny. And uh, once again, another excellent episode of Mail. Excellent mail. You are so happy there's a little kitty. I am. Oh, I hope he's he starts so cute. I hope he starts feeling better soon. Poor little guy. Anyway, uh, thank you everyone for sending mail. If you're watching right now and you'd like to send something in, you can go over to the channel page in the top right hand corner, you'll see an address. Write something to us using that address. We'll get it and we'll open it. And uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Join us again very soon, promise. Because we have lots. So we have a lot of mail still. Uh, for another exciting episode of Steven Mail. See you guys next time and the kittens will play with the letters on the table yeah i felt bad because there someone had sent a picture of greg it was bulbasaur with like a with like one eyebrow and drool and that became a cat toy so quick we, said, I, I we didn't, didn't even do anything to it we just left it on the floor and they thought it was a toy yeah i just i never got a chance to put it up on the board and the cats really tore into it it's okay it's fine that won't happen to your art, I promise. We'll put it in a better place. But, but pictures of Greg, cat toys.